you know, guys, here's the thing. Let me try and put things into context for you, okay? I know not everybody's going to live. I'm not that fucking green or ignorant or, you know, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed to think that, okay? I know we're going to have a shit ton of people die. But these people aren't dying from COVID. Let me give you several examples here. Uh, an anesthesiologist um, intubated the patients, like, I think it was right, uh, bran like, bronchi and of a patient and they couldn't get the sats up and for about five hours like we were waiting on a chest x-ray to confirm that the placement was wrong and in the meantime while we're waiting for that and we've told the anesthesiologist that it was placed wrong because like literally only one side of his fucking chest is like inflating um he dies okay um a patient had a heart rate of 40 and the resident started doing chest compressions on him, which is not what you do. You just externally pace them or you, you know, give him some atropine. And then, you know, I run in there to stop him from doing chest compressions on somebody with a fucking pulse. And then he decides to push Epi. He throws some pads on them, on him to, to defibrillate the guy in bradycardia. Okay, he has a heart rate of 40 in a stable, you know, bradycardic rhythm, we just need to give him, some, like, some atropine and pace him, he fucking defibrillates him and kills him. And I was literally ran out of, like, the patient's room to get, like, the director of nursing who was standing out there, and I'm like, can you stop him? He's going to kill that patient. He's going to kill that patient if he defibrillates him with bradycardia and a heart rate of 40. And the director of nursing just shook his head, and I turned around, and he killed the dude. Okay. There was a nurse who played placed an NG tube into um into some guy's lungs and filled his lungs with tube feeding. There was a nurse who confused uh, a long acting insulin with a short acting acting insulin and gave thirty units of a fast acting insulin and killed the guy. <sighs> we have a nurse who like fell asleep at the fucking nurses station while we were all in rooms and her norepinephrine ran out and the guy had no fucking blood pressure and didn't perfuse his brain and I'm pretty sure he's brain dead. That same nurse is now running a CRRT machine, a dialysis-like machine that she has never done before. She said she'll figure it out, okay? I'm pretty fucking smart and I figure a lot of shit out but I would never attempt to try and figure out a CRRT machine on the fly. Like and this is why I freaked the fuck out yesterday. Because nobody is listening. They don't care what is happening to these people. They don't. I'm literally coming here every day and watching them kill them. Like, literally, some of these people are just on sedation to keep them on the vents. Nothing else. I have a lady on a trank on a vent. And she's not even fucking cognizant. She's not even on sedation. You know what we give her every day? We give her breathing treatments, albuterol. And uh, she gets uh, insulin. And that's it. That's it. We're not treating the COVID, guys. Like, for real, we're not treating the COVID. <sighs> you know...